What's up, fam? It's your boy, Kirk Nugent. I'm coming to you from my parents' house in sunny Florida, St. Petersburg, Florida. Uh, but I had to do this quick little video to talk about StreamYard's latest feature, the crop solo layout. Let's figure out how it all works. I'm Kirk Nugent, your live video coach. And on this channel, I show you how to use live streaming to grow and engage an audience, to funnel clients to your business, and to establish yourself as a thought leader. And today we're looking at StreamYard's latest feature. And they've had a lot in the crop solo layout. If you ever wanted to have the solo layout view cropped in a little bit to show some of the background, this is that feature. I'm gonna show you where it is, how to enable it, all of those things in this quick video. Let's dive in. So here we are on the desktop looking at StreamYard and I'm gonna head into my test room. It brings us into a familiar screen for all of us. Uh, again, this is gonna be a quick one today. And here, um, I'm just gonna go ahead and enter the studio and my camera will catch up to me in a second. First thing we're gonna do is go to cam mic right here at the bottom, cam mic. And we click that and it brings up our settings. And you'll notice here on the side, several things have been added. Hotkeys have been added. Virtual background has been updated. We have seen a myriad of functions and features rolled out from StreamYard. Um, but this is a new one. It's called layouts, right? I'm gonna zoom in on that a little bit, layouts. And we click that, you have the option here crop solo layout to show background image. And I'm gonna hover my mouse, as you know, any question marks in the system, give us some more information around what we're looking at. This says when these, when there is only one camera on screen, we'll crop it so you can see your background. And of course, you're gonna to have to design around this. And one of the things that I recommend is to take a screenshot. We'll show you that in a second. The other way you can get here is of course, by going to the settings icon here on the other side. Let me zoom in on that real quick on the very rightmost part of your screen, we have settings, you can click that. Of course, some of you may even have a Stream Deck key for your settings, uh, but that will bring up the same screen and you will again want to go to layouts. And I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna actually, first of all, add my video to the screen. Let's mute it. So now you can see me in two places here and you can see that I take up the whole screen. If I go to settings, go to layouts, and check this box, it just crops it in a little bit on the screen and it allows for some of the things to be happening there uh, in terms of you being able to see the background. Now, if you don't have a background, let's go to the brand section, we'll scroll all the way down. If you don't have a background in here, right, then it won't make, it won't make a difference. So let's see what it looks like without a background. It'll just be black. So you do want to make sure you have a background in here. So that's going to be something important to think about is to have a background. Um, but this is just another way of broadcasting. It's just another way. And for my design folks out there, the thing that you really want to think about is what can you put in the border around the cropped solo view to make that scene meaningful? You do want to design it in that way. And one of the things I would recommend you doing is going to your banner section, putting on a, a ticker. Um, let's go to, <laughs> I'm gonna find one that is a ticker. Here we go. Here's a ticker. Don't forget to, don't forget to take a moment to subscribe. That's, that's good for all of you out there. So this is a ticker that's in my banner section. There, there's a reason why I'm doing that. The other thing I wanna do is to get a comment, put that on screen. So I wanted to, I wanted to take a screenshot of what this looks like. I've got my screenshot thing here for Mac, Command Shift 4. I'm gonna take a screenshot of what this looks like. And then all I do, I'm not gonna show you this in this video, we just did a design video, but you wanna take that screenshot, you wanna take that into your design uh, platform of choice, whether it's PhotoP or Canva, and you wanna go on around the sides here and, and design for, for this space, this, this open space. I wouldn't design anything on the bottom because you're gonna cover it with your ticker or you might cover it with your comment. So you don't wanna design anything for the bottom. So the pro tip is really to take that screenshot and design for this space that's around the top. Maybe you put your logo right here. Maybe you put some more information here. Maybe you actually put it sideways, right? Like how you're looking at my, me on the screen right now. I have my websites and stuff right beside me over here. Um, maybe you put some, some content that's there. You bring down the opacity on that background. 
all of those things are possible because we now have this design layout. So you want to take a screenshot of it, throw it into your design platform of choice, Photo P, Canva, whatever, Photoshop. I mean, I don't know what you use. I love Canva, but you would throw that in there and then you could design it in that way. Lots of functions and features. One of the things you always want to be thinking about when you see something new is think outside of the box. Not don't think always about how I have been using the platform, but how could I use the platform in a different way that may help to level up my videos? Or maybe it's something you just never use, but I want to make sure you guys are aware of it in this space. So there you have it, man. I, 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 again, one of the things that I am really excited about with this is that it gives us yet another way for us to be able to design that experience even for when we're by ourselves on screen, doing a solo stream, maybe you're doing a, a presentation thing and you wanna be able to switch between uh, doing the presentation itself and having that PDF or those slides on screen with the slide feature Keep that in mind as well. Or you want to you know, flip back into a, a, a fuller you know, layout where your video is more prominent, but you can utilize that space. We call it screen real estate, right? Screen real estate is what we are always fighting for. I'm thinking about it from the perspective of making sure branding is prominent. I'm thinking about it from the perspective of sponsorships, right? We're doing sponsorships here on the channel. If you're interested in sponsoring us, go ahead and hit us up at info at howitallworks.com. Drop us an email. Uh, we have several sponsor packages available but all of that is what I'm thinking about when I see an option like this there's more screen real estate and so those are places that I can maybe put a couple of logos here are our sponsors for this show maybe I can put some design or something in there of course it's in the background so you just simply design it upload it in the background and use it in that space. I'd love to hear what you're going to use all this stuff for. Uh, always amazing to, to, to see how this stuff goes. I want to make sure you are aware, uh, you know, even as you put those things in the comments for us, but I want to make sure you are aware that we do have both a StreamYard Get Started playlist on the channel here, youtube.com slash Nugent, but then we also have a StreamYard Masterclass, I should say online course, six part online course over two hours worth of content, all functions and features of the platform. We wanna make sure you guys are aware of those things that you can take advantage of them. If you're getting started with StreamYard, you're already a StreamYard aficionado, you're a StreamYard intermediate user, maybe an advanced user, I still feel like there's something in these videos that will be able to help you to level up your content, level up your live show. Uh, and with that said, man, I'm excited about this time of year, excited about these new features, hoping that you'll come back and hang out with us as we put out some thought type content, content right? We do a lot of how to's here, but we wanna show you some live video strategy content here on the channel. So buckle in, enjoy this ride. It's your boy, Kirk Nugent, the Geek Speaker Preacher, hoping that somewhere in the video today, we got you a little closer to figuring out how it all works. And we'll see you in the next video.